Fala galera, esses são alguns vídeos que eu legendei do Físico Nancy Haramin Que eu tinha tirado do canal um tempo atrás Mas resolvi pôr eles de novo porque Muitas coisas que eu falo aqui no canal se baseiam nos estudos do Físico Nancy é, Muita gente pensa que o que eu falo aqui é coisa que não tem fundamento e tal Só que não, o que eu passo aqui é um novo paradigma de entender a realidade E físicos como Físico Nancy Haramin que está juntando a ciência e espiritualidade teoria do campo unificado em uma coisa só, são coisas que vai mudar totalmente a nossa visão do mundo. Então, por isso que eu sou um divulgador desses conteúdos. E sempre divulgarei aqui conteúdos dele. E são estudos muito bem embasados, porque a pesquisa bem embasada, geralmente, é conhecida como ciência. Mas a ciência é simplesmente o ato de pesquisar a fundo aquilo que é real ou não. Que é o propósito aqui do canal, entender a realidade. Então, sempre que tiver conteúdo dele, vídeos novos, novas teorias, Sempre trarei aqui para expandir a consciência da galera e entender as coisas que eu falo aqui no canal muito mais. É, tamo junto, é nóis, se inscreve, seja membro, é nóis. There's this huge misunderstanding that's happening between two worlds. There's the world of science, which when they say dimension means something very specific. They're defining a vector in space, they're defining like a, a plane in the structure of space as a new dimension. They, they don't think it, of it as a world of, uh, of something, like a world of emotion or a world of, you know, like that doesn't register on the physicist side. So when the spiritual people say another dimension, they mean something vastly different than what the physicists are thinking, okay? And so there's a disconnect. There's like, yeah, what are you all talking about, right? Now, in both case, it's incorrect. You know, in both case, it's wrong, right? <laughs> Meaning, uh, you can use you can use Cartesian planes, and I know. You know, the French may be attached to it. <laughs> Actually, not so much anymore. Um, and that's great to see um, that you can define, you know, to do mathematics, you, you might define spaces in, you know, planes in space, um, which, is, which is okay as long as you remember that you invented that that you, you don't forget that there's no such thing as a, a two-dimensional surface, right? For real, you know, like that, that, that doesn't exist, right? So if that doesn't exist, then what exists? Well, volumes right, exist, meaning you, you can scale up and you can scale down, right? You can, you can find boundary conditions. But if you look at the fine level of the boundary, you're always going to find what we call three dimensions, meaning you're always going to find a volume, right? You're never going to not find a volume. It's never going to be flat, right? Never, right? <laughs> okay? So, like, two dimension goes away. That doesn't exist. It's just a model in mathematics. Okay, now... You're getting closer to the spiritual people, right? Because they would think of these dimensions as like, you know, boundary conditions in the space, right? Maybe some, uh, and then, so, so what is, tr so every boundary you look at, you find volume. That means that from any one of these points on the surface of any of the boundary, you can expand another boundary structure right it defines a new scale right so so now you could define scales as dimensions literally dimensions scale <laughs>